This is what it sounds like in the summertime in Mississippi. This video is sponsored by Mississippi Land Bank. Visit them online at mslandbank.com. Jalen Green down the sideline. And he's going to be lassoed down. I don't know if it sounds this way in Texas during the summertime, but one guy who's finding out is Jalen Green, safety transfer, defensive back transfer from the University of Texas to Mississippi State. He is one of two defensive transfers that I think are key transfers for Mississippi State, pretty obviously, because Green um, has a great chance to be one of the starters at safety, even though as a highly rated recruit going into Texas, he played corner. So he's making a position change as well as a school change. And another is a very important pass rusher who has a great chance to start for you as well at Mississippi State. Randy Charlton transferring from UCF. Jalen Green down the sideline. Right, here he is against Oklahoma State last year when um, you know, he's playing corner. And that's what he played for uh, Texas in his career uh, while he was there. They're going to go try to go a quick three-step out route. And it's underthrown, but he jumps and he covered it pretty well. You get another view of it from a different angle. About a 40-something yard return. This is his only interception in his career. Eyes on the quarterback, jumps the route, uh, and he's not trying to cut it short and, you know, play it underneath, um, but he does jump it. A little handsy, but, you know, you're getting a push off also. But it's a good job to kind of stay on him and keep his eyes on the football. You know, he's in position here that if the ball is thrown where it's supposed to be, which is outside, they may have a chance to catch it if you put it outside, but he's going to have a great chance to bat it away too because he's, you know, in his hip pocket. And I guess the point is, if the quarterback keeps it away from him, you know, it's a bad away most likely. But by being in position that, you know, if it's a bad throw or a tip, which this is a bad throw behind, now he's got a chance to turn it into an interception. He does. Makes a play. Really poor throw behind, but he's in good position. Just an example. That's his one interception. That happened last year. You see the throw behind right there. Um, you know, you go back a couple of years, he's in some man to man against really good receivers when they, for instance, played LSU. We'll take a look at some of those. And one of the things about Green, like I said, he made a position change, right? So he's playing corner. So any film you have of him is playing at corner. And here he is, boundary corner. Now, I watched this LSU game from a couple of years ago against Burrow and that offense. And, you know, he's playing corner. He's kind of into the boundary in the short side of the field a bunch. Um, and so that put him in a position of needing to give a little more cushion from time to time. He's one-on-one, -on -one, don't want to get beat, and that's what they had here. So, you know, because of the cushion, they're running that quick out route, three-step out. You call it three-step, and you notice quarterback Burrow's not only – he's only taking one step because he's in a shotgun. So ball comes out really quick, but it's good coverage. And one thing you notice in this game, he didn't miss tackles. Uh, there was a couple of examples of hitting guys in the sideline and tackling. Um, so he's a good enough athlete to play corner at this level who is taller and you're going to have him playing safety at Mississippi State and probably a good position change. So this is what you do know. Uh, if you can play corner, you're a good enough athlete, speed and everything else wise, to play safety. And the key would be, are you physical enough? And that's one thing you saw with him. He was a boundary corner at Texas. And I feel like he was physical enough and he put that on tape. I think he's got a chance to be really good. Again, boundary corner for those that don't know what i mean by that ball is on the right hash so the short side of the field the boundary side is to that side and he's the corner into the boundary right there you see him one-on-one it's a uh it's a zone safety over the top so he's going to stay underneath and let him get behind him see him eyes on quarterback you know you make contact and then you're covering your zone he's going to let the receiver go he's covering this zone this flat out here Eyes on the quarterback and eyes to see if he's being threatened underneath. If no receiver comes underneath, you know, his job as a corner is to, you know, float back and maybe take away that hole shot. And he kind of does that. See him float back. He's not threatened underneath. Receiver is stopping. He sees the safety on top. And so he works back down. And, you know, that's the only thing is maybe drifts a little too far and allows for the receiver to come back. So once you drift, they come back, catch it. Then what do you do? So he comes back, makes a reception, and now this is what you like. Um, you know, you're not going to miss this tackle and give up a free big play, and you're trying to stop him short of that first down stick, and, you know, can you get him out of bounds right there, and that's a nice job. 
That's a nice physical tackle. It's what you want out of a guy that's going to play safety. The other thing about Green is when you watch last year at State, State was not bad at safety. They were just young and inexperienced. And they did get beat down the field some. He gives you an experienced athlete who can absolutely fly that even if it just makes a difference of two to three times a year where he runs with that receiver down the field and knocks it away, well, that's a difference in, you know, 21, 28 points across the season. Just one player can make a difference on the back end of your defense. Okay, and finally, Randy Charlton. Um, he's getting a lot of first-team reps, did so in the spring when he transferred in. When you look at him physically, you watch him out there, he just fits right in on that SEC defensive front group. And it's a front group where some guys beside him who are really good players, Crumity and Pickering and Young and some of those guys who, some of them are gonna play NFL football. He just fits right in. Charlton down here, he's a defensive end with his hand down. He's not standing up. He's got his hand down right there. And he's gonna attack the tight end. Tight end is lining up right in front of him here in a, uh, 11 personnel, you see the tight end step to the line of scrimmage. And so that kind of puts Charlton, he's going to take that inside route, inside the shoulder or, or the inside shoulder of the tight end because you're going to have linebacker playing outside. And it's a nice physical move right here. Get your shoulder into him. He's got leverage right now. It's just straight up rush, rush the passer on second and 10. He's got big time leverage and just drive him back into the lap of the QB. And they give him a sack, call him down. So nice physical move at defensive end. It's a key position. Obviously in a defense going to be a three-man front. You, you love to have a guy who can be outside and pass rush outside, but if you need him to move inside for a play or two, he's big enough, strong enough to do it. So he's the right kind of player. There's a reason they brought him in. He is on the other side uh, playing left defensive end. Quarterback's going to come to him, and I don't know if he's supposed to, but he does. Um, this is another one where he's taken on a tight end. Uh, example of a sacking side. So tight end. Isn't that a tight end? Yeah, either that or they've put a lineman in here for him. But I'm pretty sure it's tight end personnel trying to single him up on an outside rush. And that's what you want. Defensive end, you got to beat tight ends. It's really not much of a challenge for him, which is good. Arms extended, eyes on the quarterback. They're bring, pulling the guard around there to try to help. He's quicker than the guard and then uh, runs him down for a sack. You know, and trying to figure this out – not that it really matters. You get pressure kind of squeezing the pocket back here, and maybe that's what caused the quarterback to run after the fake. But on this play, his only chance is to step up and stay in here, let that guy go deep, let him come and, you know, kind of push Charlton deep so that your hole is right up here or your your pocket is right up here, up high in the pocket. But he runs out of there and runs right into Charlton. But push the tight end, no challenge. A lot quicker than the guard, just straight to the quarterback and a physical tackle. Two key transfers for State on defense. Thanks to Mississippi Land Bank for sponsoring these videos. Check them out online, mslandbank.com. And thanks to Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance for supporting this content as well. Farm Bureau, go with the home team. See you on the next one.